Hey everybody, this is Nick with the Heroes Journal. I'm excited to talk to you about how to get the most out of your reflection sections in your journal. Let's get into it. So I actually just finished up one of my Heroes Journals and I was in the very last reflection section of it. I was looking back over the months of you know work that I put into the journal and the thoughtful reflections I put in and I really felt something magic about looking back over the story that I was living the last three or so months um, of my life. So we wanted to make a quick video to give you a rundown of the reflection sections in the journal and just what makes them so magical. Okay, so the journal is actually laid out um, that you have multiple opportunities to reflect on your quest. We really recommend that you take advantage of all of them. Now, it could come in the form of asking you certain questions as you move through, um, letters from the mentor, things like encouragement and such, and naming certain legs of your journey as you go through to help tell a better story about the whole quest. The reflection questions in the journal come at the end of every daily page scene. So before you move on to the next scene, you have a few questions that you're going to be asked. Now these questions can vary. They can be anything from who is your most helpful ally, who is your most threatening enemy, to what did you learn about your own willpower? or what do you have to celebrate about what you accomplished in this last section? So these questions are really helpful. And we found that people oftentimes never reflect on the life that they're living. It makes it really difficult to know what they want or what direction they're headed in. So make sure to not skip over these questions. After weeks and weeks of answering these through your, throughout your journey, you'll see that you'll grow as a person. You'll learn more about your motivation. You'll learn more about your allies, about your enemies. And most importantly, maybe you'll learn about what quest you wanna take next. Make sure to not skip these reflection sections. They're really, really helpful. After two of those reflection sections, you will get your first letter from the mentor. Now, it's really exciting turning that page and seeing that letter because it's a reminder that you're not alone on this journey. Not only that, but you didn't set out on this journey because it was easy. You wanted to do something that was really hard. And this is a letter of encouragement and a reminder that you're not the first brave hero to ever do that. You're not alone in the difficulties and the challenges of growing. There's people behind you, and more importantly, there's people rooting for you. One of those being the mentor. As you get to the bottom of that letter from the mentor, you will be asked to give a name to the story of the last 30 daily pages from your journal. Now, this is a really important step in your journey because it gives you a chance to Put a name to everything that you accomplished, everything that you went through, everything that was challenging, everything that you were able to overcome in the last 30 days. Those are all of the reflection opportunities that take place in the Hero's Journal. If you have a journal, we really recommend that you do not skip over these. These are really, really important sections for you to use in the moment, but especially as you look back over the course of your quest. Something that we always like to say here is your daily pages are where you are living your story, but the reflection sections and the reflection questions are where you tell your story to yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video on the reflection sections in the Heroes Journal. If you have a journal, I hope this was helpful for you. If you're still on the fence about the Heroes Journal or you're just trying to figure out more information, we actually have a free um, hero challenge in the bio. It'll help you turn your goal into a quest. Um, also, leave us a like, leave us a comment, make sure and subscribe because we drop content about storytelling, about turning your goal into a quest, about becoming the hero of your story every week. So make sure and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.